It has been a long year. And now we're approaching Christmas. Christmas 2020. And maybe that's kind of scary. Maybe it's kind of scary because through all the things that happened this year, your relationships are not where you want them to be at Christmas. Maybe someone voted for the other guy at the presidential election. Maybe someone is refusing to wear masks. And your family's just kind of fallen apart. You're not with friends the way you used to be. What do you do? Well, this week we're going to talk about reconciliation, about coming back together. And we're going to do that from 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And there it says, So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Okay, what does that mean? Well, a worldly point of view would say, if you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. But if you're mean to me, I'm going to be mean to you. That's a worldly point of view. I'll treat you the way you treat me. And let's be honest, that's the source of a lot of drama, isn't it? It really is. But you see, God doesn't look at you that way. He doesn't say to you, well, if you behave, I'll be good to you. And if you're mean, I'll be bad to you. It's not how God works. Instead, God says, all have sinned and fall short the glory of God. And all are justified freely by Jesus Christ. See, this is the amazing thing, that God doesn't treat us the way the world treats us. He treats us with grace. He gives us the exact opposite of what we deserve. That's why Christmas happened, is that instead of giving us judgment, God gave us himself. And now the rest of this week, we're going to see how that fuels our desire for reconciliation and how we reach out. But it starts here by seeing God didn't treat us in the worldly way, but he gave us the opposite. Because of that, now we're not going to treat each other in the worldly way. If you're mean to me, I'm going to be mean to you. No, no. But I see how God treated me, and now I want to treat you the same way.